start by uh, offering my respects to His Majesty the King, the Right Honorable the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, members of His Majesty's Cabinet, senior government officials, our health partners, international and local NGOs, Embassy and PEPFAR team, media houses, friends, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is really with great pride that I stand before you today representing the PEP4 team on this special occasion marking, marking the opening of the new PEP4 MCC offices at the American Embassy in Lucero. The PEP4 team first established a permanent presence in Lesotho in 2005 with the hiring of the PEP4 coordinator. The team remained small and had to be housed in temporary, temporarily at several locations over the years. As we grew, we experienced the expected pains of adjustment. Nonetheless, through the leadership of Ambassador Dolan and the perseverance of the tenacious embassy team, along with the cooperation of our Washington and Atlanta colleagues, we have been able to transform a rudimentary warehouse structure into the modern office space you see before us today. It has been a long, hard journey to reach this point, but clearly the efforts have paid off and expectations are high as we move forward in this time of profound change and global uncertainty. This building symbolizes the enormous expansion of the PEPFAR program in Lesotho, whose baseline fund funding is now over $20 million per year. The reaff reaffirmation of the U.S. government's unwavering commitment to the people of Lesotho and the dedication of the PEPFAR and embassy staff to a successful partnership with the government of Lesotho as embodied in the partnership framework. For those of you who are unfamiliar with PEPFAR, it is worth noting that this presidential initiative embodies a new way of doing business and a new form of cooperation and coordination within the U.S. government. Many U.S. agencies collaborate in the implementation of PEPFAR, including the Department of State, the Department of Defense, the U.S. Agency for International Development, or USAID, the United States Peace Corps, and my own organization, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC. These agencies all come with their own unique assets and advantages, and the huge success of the PEPFAR model around the world underscores the fact that there is indeed strength in unity. I believe there is no better example of this spirit of unity than here in Lesotho, where the PEPFAR team works hand in hand, not only with the Millennium Challenge Corporation, another U.S. government agency housed in the same building, but also with the many ministries and departments of the government of Lesotho, as well as the many international and local organizations that are present here. Although this building is now completed, this is clearly only the beginning of our efforts. Much needs to be done to improve the infrastructure of health facilities throughout Lesotho. Many people need to be hired, trained, and inspired to remain and work in Lesotho. There are many contracts that need to be negotiated, many individuals who need to learn their HIV status, many infections that need to be prevented, many children and families that need to be cared for, and many attitudes that need to change. In short, there is much work that needs to be done. So, while we celebrate the opening of this new office, let us also reaffirm our commitment to rolling up our sleeves and continuing the important work that has only just begun. May God bless the United States of America May God bless the kingdom of Lesotho. Hoto Kula.